All right, I finally blew the speaker. What is that? Ah, I forgot what kind it was, but uh, either way, I'd been hitting it pretty hard with the uh, 50 watt blonde basement amp. It was sounding pretty good, and all of a sudden I noticed that it wasn't making any sound. It's a four ohm speaker. So uh, the 50 watt amp was perfect for it, but it was just a little bit too much. I didn't know what the rating, wattage rating was on this thing, so that made a big difference. But if you, if you hit the speaker with a battery, nothing comes out. It's dead. See? Completely dead. So, I'm going to order a Eminence 1058K, which is a 75 watt speaker, and put it in there. It'll probably take me a couple weeks, or maybe four weeks, to get it. I'll take this out real quick and see how easy it is to get out. And I'll tell you what, I had a hell of a time getting it out of this cabinet. Once I stuck the uh, grill cloth in there, there was no room for air. I wish I'd have shaved this down just a hair. I got it out, but I almost destroyed the, the grill cloth. And I'm going to take the speaker out now. Now there it is. Got the speaker out. I think that's from 1972. You can see the drum assembly here. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, great. Oh. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not sure how this, uh, Stay supported. Oh, pfft. I didn't even see this. I take it this bracket goes across here. I'm gonna see how. Wow, I didn't even see that come off. All right, well, we know what keeps it in. Keeps it solid there. This thing supports it so it can turn. Interesting. That old wheel looks like from the 1800s or something. All right, well, a few, few weeks, I'll get a new speaker. I just wanted to point out one more thing just in case anybody ever has to change these things. See the thickness of the gasket? And the frame there, well, those are key. I just found out. Because when you, I put these screws back in to hold the bracket. And I put them all the way in and the drum wouldn't turn. Well, that's because if you look down there, if you screw them all the way in, they screw right into the, the drum. See how they're sticking out right there? So that thickness of the speaker and the gasket are key. Hopefully the new speaker matches up or I'll have to take the gasket off of the speaker to make it work right. But a uh, little bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, maybe this will help somebody in the future.